Hello everyone, Gomenath here, out in Grizzly Hills, just enjoying the beautiful music and a place where I'm probably not going to be ganked by Alliance. Uh, talking about the best pets from every family tonight. We're down to the magic pets, uh, and we're going to talk about the notable ones. So, as you can see from this little enchanted broom here going to town, sweeping this log, making it nice and clean, this is the first one on my list. This comes from Ice Crown. Uh, I think it comes from the Blood Elf vendor. You can also pick it up on the Black Market Auction House fairly cheap or just on the regular auction house for, I don't know, it depends, between eight and 15,000 gold, uh, which can be a little or a lot depending on your budget and how long you've played the game. But they're great. They're a double, double counter to uh, water types uh, aqua types with being a magic type and having a very hard hitting flying move. They also um, have batter which is really useful especially on a speed speed pet where you know you're almost always going to go first with this guy. You can use sweep which switches out the enemy pet. It's like nether gate um, and then you can combine that either with cleanup, which is a heavy hitting move, or wind up, which is also a heavy hitting move. So he's really a great pet overall. Um, definitely someone you want to throw into your collection. Now, the next guy I have here is the Hyjal Wisp. And he is a tier one pet because he has dodge and wish, which is a really fantastic combo. He can outlast a lot of pets. And then Arcane Blast. Now, I prefer Arcane Blast over Feedback because Arcane Blast stacks up to 370 or 350 um, and feedback only is hitting for 280. So this will, after what, three turns, uh, be hitting for 350, um, whereas this guy will only be hitting for 280 ever. And that's even less than just a basic attack. So really a great pet for PvP. Um, he's dropped from Archimond out on the old Hyjal raid. So yeah, throw him in your collection. Jade Uslane. I've talked about this pet before. He's in a lot of my videos. He's a very, very, very hard-hitting magic pet. Um, absolutely one of my favorite pets in the game. Just because, yeah, he's a powerhouse. Uh, Expunge here can hit for upwards of 720 damage. That is so much damage. And it's on a three-round cooldown. Now, granted, it can hit on the low end at like 386, which is still a high amount of damage for a basic attack because basics are around 300 damage. Uh, you combine that with Corrosion, which is a heavy hitting dot versus flying, or Creepy News, which is a heavy hitting dot versus aquatics. He's just really a fantastic pet. Definitely recommend picking up the Power Power Braid. Now, second set of magical type pets I want to talk about is the Servant of Demodos. Now, this guy is a drop off of the Servant of Demodos, which is a, uh, or Demodos, which is a rare out in Shadow Moon Valley in uh, Draenor. And he's actually pretty high drop chance. He's like 13%, which is very high for pet battles. Uh, the build that I almost always go on him is Soul Rush, um, Siphon Animus, and Magic Sword. He is very much a glass cannon because look, he has only 1200 health. That's 200 health less than like normal, but he also has 366 power, which I think is the second highest power rating in the game other than Ragnaros. So he's a glass cannon, but he can do insane amounts of damage. And the magic sword here has a 50% chance of critting, which is really cool because it crits all the time. And when you crit for 324 or 328 damage, it adds another 50%. So you're critting for like 475 damage, which is just a ton, you know, and you have 50% chance of crit. Now, the next guy on this list is Trunks, okay? He is uh, very much a rarer pet because he's from Awfully Big Adventure, but he's got two insanely heavy hitting moves. So if you throw out moon, uh, Moonfire, then when an Elki flies, it will always go first, regardless of the enemy's speed. And as you can see, your speed rating is 211. You will outspeed birds. You will outspeed literally everybody if you have Moonfire up on this guy. And it only has a 50% hit chance, which, you know, you're always flirting with death when you play with something like that. But when it hits, oh my goodness, 716 damage. Also, Avalanche, 
calls down an avalanche on your enemies dealing 600 damage well 590 split across all the team evenly what's great about that is let's say you use it the first turn you're doing about 200 damage to every pet now your elec plushie gets lucky enough and he's able to kill the first pet and then avalanche comes off cooldown you use it again now you're hitting each of the pets for 300 damage so or you can just hit one pet for 600 damage if it's the last one really great pet um takes a ton of work to get though but it's super fun i really enjoyed that achievement now the last magic pet i want to talk about jade owl he's crafted from uh jewel crafting from uh, i think it was wrath of the lich king that's where the recipe came from and he's not that expensive i picked this guy up for i think 6k on the auction house and he's just another perfect counter to um aqua types and that he's magic and he's got all these flying moves so he's just a really solid pet anyway that'll do it for the flying types if you found this video helpful like ratings always appreciated it was a pleasure game with you have a good night